Good morning, YouTube. The holidays are coming, and that means we're gonna be bringing out some heritage recipes. In this case, I'm gonna show you how to make my grandmother's ambrosia, also called 24-hour salad. It's just an excuse to eat dessert early. <laughs> All right, let's cook, y'all. We got a family to feed. There are 100,000 different recipes for ambrosia. <laughs> and like I, like I always say, the right way to make it is the way your granny made it. In this case, the way my granny made it. So ambrosia is is one of those funny little southern salads where there's nothing healthy about it and we actually will take a nice bunch of healthy ingredients and throw a bunch of sugar in it just because we can. So we've been doing this, I don't know, generations upon generations. We've tweaked it a little bit in this case. Um, marshmallows came about in the 20s, and so you'll see a lot of ambrosia recipes um, that date from the 20s forward that contain miniature marshmallows. Before that, of course, it was mainly fresh fruit and they would just sugar it up, okay? So this is, I don't know, probably about eight ounces, about half a bag of miniature marshmallows. So you get a 16 ounce bag, you're gonna use half of it. And when I was a little girl, my mother used to buy cans of peeled grapes, green seedless grapes. Um, I haven't seen canned grapes in forever. Uh, it makes sense that people would have used those though, because of course you didn't have the kind of, of grocery supply chain where you can get whatever you want year round, right? And this was a dish that, that my grandmother served for the holidays. It was also something we would make if there was a funeral, because you know Southerners take food if there's been a a bereaved family um, and this is something that she would take for that but it always appeared at Thanksgiving and Christmas and that's what I'm doing today all right so I've got half a cup of pecans go the cheap way buy the little bits and pieces don't buy the whole ones or if you have them already um, just dice them up I've used both I don't think it matters <clears throat> to this we're going to add two cans of mandarin oranges I had the most visceral memory, oh my gosh, y'all, when I was draining these oranges a minute ago. I hadn't thought about this in years, but my little brother, um, my little brother, we would be making this salad and we would drain, oh, there's a vet calling. Okay, we would drain the fruit and put the juices into a glass. And he loved that. He would eat, or he would drink all the juices. <laughs> It was like his thing, and I had forgotten all about that until a minute ago, and I was draining it, and it just hit me. So this is why we make family recipes, right? We wanna continue that memory. All right, so this is a big can of crushed pineapple, and I drained it, but I didn't get too precious about it. There's you know, still a good bit of the liquid in here, which those marshmallows are just gonna soak up. It's why you call it, or why it's called 24-hour um, salad in a lot of places because you put it together ahead of time and that gives the marshmallows time to just absorb all the liquid that comes out of that all that fruit okay now we have half a cup of mayonnaise that's kind of scant it's not quite half a cup i guess it's more like a third and then we have a cup of sour cream And something I want to point out, if you want to add a cup of shredded coconut, that's something I've seen a million places. That's the big difference between the way Granny did it and a lot of other recipes is she just didn't use coconut. I love it. I think it's delicious. I do it sometimes. But this is for my daughter's uh, Christmas. She's not going to be home Christmas Day, which is killing me. So we're having an early Christmas dinner for her. She doesn't want the coconut, but if you want to, feel free. All right, and the last thing, two cups of powdered sugar. We just stir it up. The powdered sugar and the marshmallows. I mean, <laughs> this is one of those dishes where you kind of have dessert, but we're calling it a salad so it can go on your main plate. <laughs> it's 
we don't eat like this all the time, but I think it's really, really important to have some of these dishes that I remember from my childhood. My mother remembers this from her childhood. It's important that we make them and it gives us an opportunity to talk about people who aren't with us anymore. Just like, you know, my little brother drinking the mandarin orange juice. <laughs> Perfect. This is going to go in the refrigerator. We're going to let it chill until tonight. Oh, man. Ambrosia means food of the gods. That's pretty daggone close. <laughs>